tactically speaking, the Scorpion is an interesting mech. And not because, like the Goliath, it has four legs, but looking at its role on the table as a medium mech. So as a medium mech, one of the things that I'm looking for, weapons that, well, certainly not an assault class, more range, more duality, redundancy, and, and pushing the damage a little bit more than a light mech. More armor, of course, but for the most part, and I know not all medium mechs have them, jump jet capability. This trifecta of better weapons, more armor, and yet still being able to jump really uh, allows a variety of tactical roles for a medium mech. Now, some medium mechs, like the Hunchback, will be very, very specialized. You know, we're going to mount that auto cannon 20, give it some good speed, give it some okay armor, keep the battle value down, and use it as a bodyguard to kind of move in with a heavier or assault mech and then get rear armor with the hunchback on there. So there are specific roles for medium mechs that, that kind of classify it out of that, that main role for it. I look at the Scorpion, and I have the model. I play it. I enjoy it. But I find it very, very situational. And what I mean by that is we start off with a PPC. That's good. That's decent damage. That's decent range. But there's only one of the primary weapon. So what I look for then, um, often, you know, we're not going to see two PPCs on a medium mech because we're limited by the tonnage and, of course, heat and armor. But I'd like something else in a similar range bracket, something else that's going to push out long range. Uh, the Griffin is a perfect example. We've got the LRM 10-pack and we've got a PPC. We complement each other. It's got that redundancy pushing it out there. Scorpion only has one PPC shot. Okay, well, so now it has a missile pack, the short-range missile pack, six for, for medium and short-range work. That's got some bite. That's got some punch. But again, now at a short-range bracket, we don't have any redundancy. So what we have is an answer for long and an answer for medium and short. That's not bad in itself. So we have a mech that essentially at both range brackets, adds a little bit of dice to it, uh, essentially a support mech on there. And having the armor of a medium mech, it can get into position, and it can just fire away every single turn on there. But it doesn't have jump jets. So that cuts down on the mobility if it gets cornered, and other medium mechs and certainly heavier mechs will be able to overpower it on there. So again, kind of struggling where does this mech fit? I mean, not a bad design. A PPC is not bad. A short-range missile pack isn't bad. But, but where does it shine on there? So now we get to what you see is what you get. And uh, this is the difference between playing on a wargaming table and a hex map type scenario, hex map table. And I'm not being a rules lawyer. I'm not being a neckbeard. I'm not trying to metagame everything out there. But a hex-based Battletech map works really well because it's an abstract system with the different levels. You have the hexes where you can check for line of sight. You can check for range. There's, there's no discrepancies. Everything is assigned kind of a mathematical value. Sometimes with Battletech, you close your eyes, you feel like you're playing a math game on there. When you switch over to a traditional wargaming table, so we have actual terrain, and we're not utilizing any type of hex maps. Now it's what you see is what you get. Is that mech in cover? Well, get down and take a look. Or you might say, uh, this grouping of trees here in this area counts as light woods. This type of hill, you know the elevation if the mech is standing on it. That's where the Scorpion really changes. And I feel like in the narrative, this idea that it's a stable weapons platform, and uh, these are in the tech manuals, and that it works with infantry and it kind of just moves in that capacity that translates over onto the wargaming table because of the physical profile the physical profile of the mech means um you have a tank take like a demolisher tank take let's say a warhammer i'm not going to say a big mech like an atlas but take a warhammer put the two together put the scorpion there the scorpion is slightly above a little bit more above a tank, 
but a much lower profile compared to the Warhammer on there. When you're playing on that traditional wargaming table, it's much easier to get cover with the Scorpion. It's a lot easier to, say, position yourself behind a building or behind some terrain where you're blocking line of sight to incoming mechs, but you might have a line of sight to one mech. You know, like if you have two mechs walking towards me and I get on the opposite side of a building, I can zero in and engage one of your mechs, but the other mech, you can't see me with the positioning on there. So that's where tactically, now it, it, the design really starts to shine on that table and it, it becomes really a, a fearsome little machine, like just running around. And it's interesting, it feels like it runs like a crab, but we've got a crab mech on there, which I guess looks like a crab because of the armored body on there. I find in that scenario, the scorpion quote, works a little better on there. Not a bad mech, though, across the tabletop for the battle value and the punch it has, but it's missing a couple of key markers for me that would really have a medium mech shine. 